President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has launched the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day emblem and appeal fund. The president assured that his administration will continue to strengthen all the Nigerian security architecture. In appreciation of the efforts of the fallen heroes to national security, President Tinubu said he has approved the sum of 18 billion naira for the payment of insurance and other entitlements of service men who lost their lives in the course of operations. He stated that the Armed Forces Remembrance Day emblem remains a symbol of remembrance and a beacon of hope for a peaceful future. Exhibited by men and women of our armed forces in the campaign against insurgents. I am confident we shall continue to battle and decisively defeat all the security challenges. I wish to assure Nigerians that my administration will continue to reposition and strengthen all Nigerian security agencies. It's a commitment that we must take seriously. Our foremost objective is to provide a conducive environment free from threats and criminalities to enable all who reside within our borders to thrive and live in peace. For this reason, we owe a debt of gratitude to our gallant troops who have risen to the challenge of securing this great nation. In appreciation of the sacrifices of the men and women of our armed forces, and to underscore this government's commitment to their welfare, I have approved the sum of 18 billion naira for the payment of the group life assurance benefits. Benefit and other entitlements to the families of service members who lost their lives in line of duty. I encourage all to donate generously in support of our veterans and dependents of fallen heroes and to encourage us, all of us, to donate generously. On this note, my esteemed veteran, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to launch the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration emblem and happy for. Minister of Defense Mohamed Badaru reiterated the invaluable contributions of ex-service personnel and war veterans to the survival and continued existence of the Nigerian state. He said that the present administration through the service headquarters is committed to training armed forces combatants towards the discharge of their duties. Regrettably, some of our gallant officers and men have fed the supreme sacrifice in the line of duty. Many as well have sustained varying degrees of injuries that have incapacitated them. Our service personnel and veterans deserve the best and the best they will get, we are sure, from you. We promise to train and equip our armed forces personnel with combat capabilities and modern ways to reduce casualties during operations. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.